yeah, 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 yeah. Gone on you with the pick and roll, young and flame. Hi, Case League Gaming viewers. This is part, it should be part seven of, of, um, the Crooked Man. I'm sorry, I don't know why I can't even think of it. Okay, yeah, I already got this part on the last episode. Poor kid. Poor kid. Dude, use the freaking hammer. There we go. That's how you do it. Fluffy? No, no, I don't, don't come near me. I'm scared. Fluffy, it's okay. It's me. David. M Mr. David? Wah! Poor kid. <laughs> Fluffy, are you okay? Are you hurt? Seriously, what happened? Wah! I, I, I was waiting for Mr. David and, and then I turned around and there was this guy there and he he tried to get me. A man? Fluffy, what was he like? His neck was all limp and he was grinning. He looked at me and said, found you. I was so scared I hid in here. A man with a crooked neck? It's him, so he followed me here too. Damn it, why Fluffy and not me? I was scared, I was so scared. It's okay now, Fluffy. You did good for yourself, I'm proud of you. If he's here, then I can let Fluffy stay here. I'll have to take him to the police. Fluffy, shouldn't we go to Mr. Policeman? It's dark and dangerous around here. I'll take you there. It'll be okay. No, I'm staying with Mr. David. I'm waiting for Mama. Fluffy, please, don't be selfish. I'm sure your Mama went to the police too, so... No, Mama said to wait here, so I know she's gonna come find me, and I'll wait for her because I'm tough. Fluffy. If I can't find him here soon, and if Fluffy's mom doesn't show, then I'll have to take him to the police. Fluffy sure won't like that, though. Boy, this is getting troublesome. I hope she just shows up soon. Alright, Fluffy. We'll wait here a little longer, okay? Your mom will come soon. I know it. So, hey, don't cry. You're a big boy, right? Aw. Don't tell Mama that I cry. Mama hates when I cry. She gets mad. I won't tell a soul. That's a promise between men. Now, let's go. Okay. Whoa, that's taken care of, I guess. Do I still have the hammer? Nope, I no longer have the hammer. Well, that would have been useful. The door opens now. Was it that monster that locked? Now the bug kick. Yeah, this definitely was a bug. Now we hear the sound effects of him eating the embryo. What is he doing? No, dude. Eek! I. Is it. Is it either the embryo model? Oh! Ah! Mr. David! Ugh. My head. Uh-oh. No! No! St stay away! <laughs> Poor kid. Ah! Oh no. Fluffy. Ugh. Gotta chase that monster. Come on, David. Damn. My head. I'm bleeding. I'm so dizzy. No, 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 I think I was supposed to go up. Get 
Can I have this? No. There he is. Fluffy! Sniff, sniff. Wah! No, I don't want to stay away. Stay away. I, I have to do something about that thing. You don't have to tell me twice, David. I'll use this against that monster. That's right. Wham! Get away from Fluffy! Mr. David! Mr. David! Fluffy, you're not hurt? Nope, I'm fine. I'm sorry, Mr. David. It, it was my fault that you, you got hurt, Mr. David. It's okay. Not your fault. Didn't do anything wrong. Mr. David! It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner. Uh, Mr. David! Did I pass out? Damn it. Head still hurts. Damn, monster. Mr. David, are you really okay? Yeah, Fluffy, I'm fine. You're not hurt? Nope. I'll be fine too. Sorry for worrying you. Looks like that monster went away. Fluffy? I... I want my mama. I don't like monsters. I don't like the dark. Fluffy. Should we go to the police? I'm sure your mother's there, so... I told Mama I'd wait. Mama said she was proud of me, so I'll, I'll wait for her. Mama wouldn't lie. She's going to come for me, so I have to wait here. He really should be with the police, but he just won't listen. And if I try to force him, he'll just run. I'll give it a little more time, then I'll force him to go if I have to. I do wonder what his mom's doing though, leaving her son behind like this. I can't believe some people. And what's that monster? What's that monster up to? He was chasing me before, but now he's just after Fluffy. I don't think I could possibly know. I just need to protect him from being attacked. Maybe I should find a weapon somewhere. Yeah, that'd be nice. You're a good kid, Fluffy. Putting up with all this, you're really great. I bet your mama's proud of you. Hold out a little more, okay? I'll stay with you. No, no more monsters? I can't say, but I'll protect you if there are. So don't wander away from me, okay? Okay, I'll stay with you, Mr. David. Cute. Cute kid. Now can I see what's in the freaking safe? Oh my gosh, the monster. Just kidding. Revolver and pistol ammo. High ironic. Could have used that earlier, you know. Something tells me to save, though. Ooh! Wah! Not again! Mr. David! M m monster! M Mr. David! Help! Ugh, this monster's damn persist persistent. Fluffy, over here. No, I'm scared of monsters. I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Fluffy, get over here. Don't let the monster come near you. Ah! Fluffy! I gotta go after Fluffy. Great. 
Here comes Big Showdown, I think. If I'm not mistaken, they went to the roof. How do you get there that fast? I don't even want to know. Yep. Fluffy! No, 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 stay away. Mr. David, help! Over here, Fluffy, don't let it get near you. Ah, run away! Mr. David, help! Damn it, it really is after Fluffy. Why? Fluffy, listen, don't let it catch you. Run away, I'll take care of it. Uh, okay. Oh, how could this go wrong? I end up shooting the kid. What? I just got started. What? Really, game? Really? Freaking really? I think I shot the kid. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. How long am I gonna go through this? Oh my gosh. Dude, that's horrible. Really, really horrible. What? What? What the heck, man? What do you want for me, huh? Jeez. How do I do this without hurting Buffy? He really does just want the kid. Damn it! Move, kid! Even though that took me three, as I say, third times to try. This is the end. Don't come near Fluffy again, monster. And pushed him off the building. I I don't know how many times I shot it, but not even it could. Fluffy, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Fluffy, what's wrong? Were you hurt? He's gonna cry again. Why? Huh? I... It's so scary. But I... I keep hanging in there. And I... I just want to go home. So why won't Mama come? Does Mama hate me? <clears throat> Fluffy... Mama hates me. She'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. Fluffy, that's not true. It's not... It... That's not... You... You... He has no idea what to say. I'm going to Mr. Policeman. Huh? Well, okay. I'll go with you. I'm fine. I'll go there by my by myself. Fluffy, you shouldn't be alone late at night. I'm a tough kid. I can make it on my own. Even if Mama isn't there. Even if Mama isn't there, I won't cry. But oh, another flashback. Ouch. Huh. My, my head. Feels like it's gonna explode. Hopefully this will be the last part of this game. F Fluffy. He he left on his own. No. Fluffy. Your mother didn't hate you. 
it was you who lost faith in her. What have I been doing here? Wandering these ruins, looking for a man I don't know? I should go home. There's no point to this. Nothing. Nothing will change. <sighs> it's like he's finding himself. Or at least trying to. Just in case. Poor David. So we're just gonna walk out of here as if nothing happened. No? What the? Sounded like a woman's voice. Could it be Fluffy's mother? So she did come for him. That's good. I must have passed Fluffy by. The voice came from the clinic side. I'll go check it out. How about no? Just no. Dude, that is a bad sign. Do I have to go inside? Okay, I'll go. I'm not moving. Who? Who's that over there? Hey, who are you? <gasps> Mom? Look. Ma? Davy, why did you why did you abandon me? That that's not Mom, how can you be here? I hate hospitals. You're my family. Yet you abandoned me. No. You were you were sick, Mom. So so you left me? My own family? Couldn't stand me anymore? No! You're wrong! Who are you? My mom couldn't possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? It hurts, Davy. Just like it did then. <laughs> what? Are you gonna try and kill me again? Again? Ah, I see what's going on. It hurts so much, Davy. Ah! Dude, he got some serious mental issues going on here. I can see why it's called the Crooked Man. What a crooked family. Ah! Who are you? Why are you in my house? What did you do with my husband? Answer me. Mom, please, stop. You kept saying things like that. Dad just went out, okay? Did you forget? Shut up, intruder. I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the police on you. Stop it. Don't tell me you're already going senile. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm a bother. Shut up! Keep your mouth shut! Do you think I know you? Get out of here! Stop! What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did something wrong. Are you teasing me? Because it's not funny. Please, Mom! <clears throat> Quiet! I'm not your mother. I don't know you. Get out! Enough. Murderer! Somebody! Murderer! 
David? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop. Let go. You trying to kill her? David! <clears throat> Did this guy just try to kill his own mother? It appears to be a brain tumor. It's pretty much pressure on her brain. Sun changes in behavior, violent action, and memory loss can be signs of brain illness. <clears throat> it's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in a family can, underco can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If you had noticed a little sooner, if we had noticed a little sooner, back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. We've hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence your decision. Hopefully it won't be long. Please, come by to see her often. Even if she doesn't seem to know you, she is family. No. We're not family anymore. Don't, don't say we are. <clears throat> if I hadn't been stopped, just like that, I would have... I would have never been forgiven for it. There really was hatred in me. And it's true I'm abandoning her in the hospital. She was my only family. My precious family who cared for me. After my father left, and yet I... My wishes never come true. My dreams, love, and even family all go away. I can't have anything that's not crooked. What have I been searching for? You've been searching for yourself, David. I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. There was only one way from the beginning. Scene 3, Central Hospital, Fluffy, and so, yeah, I called it. He's probably been searching for himself the whole time. Let's see what happens next. Damn it. David hasn't asked for a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul, what do we do? I know I knew he, we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion. <clears throat> Get a hold of yourself. Calm down. How can I be calm about this? In this case. David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering from old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggest moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help. Now I did it. It wasn't a bad idea. 
But it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it. I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room... He knew something about that room, obviously. Ugh, don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. I'm always talking about how you see things and... David! David, where are you? Central Hospital. Why are you way over there? Listen, I'm going there, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please, don't. Leave me alone. David. Hey, David! They better go now. Damn it. I take it take about a day to get to that place on my motorcycle. Marianne, I'm going to see David. I'm going with you. David is my friend too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. Well, they made the right choice, that's for sure. David's car. He's got to still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right? <clears throat> oh, look! I'm playing as Paul and Marion now. Okay. Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. That you, David? So... Am I going upstairs now? Nope. What the f Who's there? What are you doing there? Huh? Oh, it's a, a girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, what the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. Man, the hell was that? She has nothing to say about that? Wait, I'm feeling there's something up here. I could be wrong, but I just want to check. Okay, well, guess we're going downstairs. Someone else? David? Hey, who are you? <clears throat> Yo. The hell? What are you doing here all along? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. See me tell me he's been chasing around ghosts this whole time? Uh uh. Uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. She still has nothing to say. There was a cricket man. He walked the cricket mile. A kid? No, don't tell me there's a kid wandering here. Hey, it's Fluffy. He found the crooked sixpence upon the crooked style. He bought a crooked, crooked mouse which caught a crooked mouse. A crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse. C kid, what are you doing? And they all lived together in a little crooked house. 
Hey, you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time, and he sighed. And so he... David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What was with him? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Marion? What's up? <clears throat> Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this is the time for that? Huh? Marion? What do you mean, teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? I knew it. Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David. No jokes. So that's it, huh? Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for uh, trying to speak you. Don't worry, I'll find David. W wait, I'm staying with you. I've, if anything happened, I'd be putting us both in danger. Please, just trust me. Alright, please, come back quickly. Right. Just wait for me, David. He has the eyes to see. Dude, what's up with the music? David, what are you doing out there? Why would I not open the door? David. Paul. Why? Why are you here? Come, came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave, stay away. Oh, I'm guessing, yeah. David, you. I'm. I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm, I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. David, what, what, that's... Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now. David! Persuade him, take the gun, punch him! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, ow! You damn monster, get away from David. What? Hey, ow! St st ow! <laughs> that hurts, stop you, moron. David, you back with us? Don't say that. Oh my god, with that. I've been saved from the start. My like, hell, <laughs> if that's the kind of thing you do. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'll have to beat you up till you promise not to. Uh, now about this stuff you've been doing. You better tell me everything that happened. <laughs> that's funny. Your friend's about to commit suicide and instead of persuading or taking a gun, you punch him continuously. That's hilarious. 
Okay. Hmm. Sissy, D, and Fluffy. And that cricket monster. <clears throat> oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my cult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fanatic fanaticism. Don't I always tell you that I see it? You and Marion never believe me. Sheesh. Anyways, about Sissy D and the kiddo. I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. More of your cult stick. Sh you seriously making fun of the occult after this? Just listen to no jokes. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling. From you and from the room. <clears throat> I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness and you were a perfect match. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy, too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep, and you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always sympathize with others. And they get taken advantage of the most. <sighs> that is so true. taken advantage of. Look, don't I barely know him? You know a little from that stuff he left. Plus, that was all stuff you could identify with. So, what would you think of a guy who's a splendid image of you? Wouldn't you would you hate him or like him? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you. Tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you? Who wanted your help? What? He hated you, but he liked it you. He thought he could share in suffering with you. So he was seeking your help. And that's why you met these people, those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He, he helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm. What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address, and I don't think it's for that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could not all. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David. You come back to us safe. And I don't I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah. I know. Thanks. Scene for Central Hospital Paul End <sighs> It's the reason why I said the last video hits close to home. <clears throat> this is the place for sure. Could this be his house? Mailbox says Mick gone. Must be must been the resident's name. 
Should I talk to this guy? Excuse me, can I have a second? What? Ain't seen you around going for a stroll? Uh, no, actually, um, who lives here? Do you know them? Oh, you mean Miss 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 McGahan? Mc McGahan? Someone named McGahan lives here? Not anymore. Miss McGahan passed away last year. The house been neglected ever since. Waste of a fine house it is. Oh yeah, I think she had a son. Would she just rent or sell the house? Do you know anything about her son? Nah, never seen him. I only moved here a few years back. Heard he lives in an apartment a ways away. I see. That's all. I gotta get home by daybreak or my wife will be livid. Uh, yes. Thanks a lot. It's a good thing I talked to that guy. Is there anything around I should look? Just in case. Don't want to miss anything. It's <clears throat> locked. Thought I still had a key somewhere. Oh! What the? Well, definitely has been abandoned. Black water, bath water is muddy, it smells bizarre. Pieces of shatter plate. Oh, what's that on the wall? Oh, never mind. Old telephone, no power, so you can't make any calls. Scrap from a notebook. I recalled the rhyme of the crooked man. All he could do was live in a crooked house with a cat and mouse just as crooked. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? Was he sorrowful in the depths of despair? Such a life has no meaning. in this place though. <clears throat> Out of cigarettes, I need a smoke. Pile of paper scraps, they have very few words written on them. Black covered notebook. The rule on this notebook matches the scraps I have. Combine all the scraps, got a notebook. There's a name on the back Duke. Duke McGahan. Okay, that was it. Calendar for last year, there's a big X on it. Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching. It was a special place, but now it's just me. I don't know her family.
A ladder. It looks like it goes to the attic, but the door doesn't open. Or there's got to be a key around here somewhere. I have any more keys on me. Oh. It's gotta be one around here somewhere. Oops, where? Wait, I think I didn't go. Did I go in this room? No, I didn't. The hotel, the school, the hospital. It was all the same. It, all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. Writing wouldn't settle my heart. In the end, my festering heart went. Part of the paper's torn. Mine is an empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind, not even words. Someone's crying? Is he crying? Cricket man. I I can't end up like you. He's up there, isn't he? Then I'll be going there. This will be the end. Wait, what? Fight him again? Oh, come on. Cricket man, I'm not going to be like you. You failed to catch me. As much misery as I encounter, as painful and bloody as it might be, I'll keep living. So, be gone! Ah, that's how you tell them. That's how you tell them demons bye. And I can't do anything. Duke. Dang, he must have been there for a long time.
Duke, you, you detested me. Though I lived such a similar life, you hated how I lived comfortably. So you wanted to drag me down, to take me with you. But then you want to be saved deep down, so you called me. No, that's not right. <clears throat> you wanted to help me, to tell me don't come the way I've come. Thank you. <clears throat> Nothing will make you suffer anymore. Where you're going, it's a good place. So, now you can rest in peace. Wow. That's why I said it hits close to home. Watch ending and yeah, skip the credits. Wait. No, wait. Wait, no. I didn't need. Uh. Forget it. I guess I couldn't watch the end. I am so sorry about that, everyone. Yes, I did want to see the ending. That was my fault. I guess I could play it. I mean, ah, what the heck? Why not? I'm going to go back and see what other two choices the endings are. Because <clears throat> there is more than one ending. Thank you for playing the cookie, man. Congrats on the good ending. This is the an extra page. You'll lose the page if you quit. So I recommend making a save. You can also begin a second playthrough here. Wait, seriously? Well, uh, let's save this under this one. About the game, the impetuous to create the game from a strange event that happened to a friend of the author. Writing it all would be too long of a story, unfortunately. It might be available on my blog. This game is less scary than my last game, Paranoiac. Wait, Paranoiac? Oh, I forgot he created more than one game. But I consider having more action in this one. The author will be delighted if you enjoyed it. Again, thank you for playing. I was happy to play. <clears throat> Throughout the series, this is the Crooked Man, but I like to make a series of similar games. I hope you might play them when they come out. They'll be available on my blog. Well, I don't know how old this game is. I think it's been about five years old or so. So he may have more games. Second day playthrough. The door at the end leads to a second playthrough. There's no change to story, battles, or choices, but some events near the ending change. Please try it if you're if they're in, if you're interested. Second play will be indicated. Playthroughs three and up have no changes. Second playthroughs. What does that mean? Wait. Does this mean I'm going all the way back to the beginning? Yeah. I don't want to do a second play. I just want to see the other endings you get when David has the gun to his head. So I'll be back as soon as this is done and over with. What happens if I try to persuade him? I know you've had it really rough. I'm your best bud after all. I'm always trying to help you out. <clears throat> And it might be hard now, but tides can change. Good things can still happen. And they will. 
Whatever happens, I'll help you. So, shut up. Who do you think you are? You want to help me? Good things will happen? They never have. It was all for nothing. So I... Dave, David, stop. Don't say that. Who are you? Huh? I don't know you. And you couldn't know me. The only one who understood me was him. D David, you're... But I only realized in my last moments. Out of my sight, hypocrite. David! David. Bad in three. Goodbye, my friend. <clears throat> Why you? Why do you have a gun anyway? Give me that. Stop. Stop. Let go. Just leave me be. Afraid I can't do that, David. You're my... Stop! Did I, did I just shoot you? I, I didn't. N no, I, I really c killed. No, David, not your fault. I tried to grab the gun. It was all me. It's not your fault. David, you're not a bad guy. I'm sorry, Paul. Whoa! Not your fault, David. Bad and three. <laughs> oh, those were the last two bad endings. Now I'm going to try to show you guys the end. Alright, now for the ending. Sheesh. It took me long enough. Wow, it must have been rough, David. Finding a corpse on your trip. But it sounds like it ended up alright. I'll go make some tea. He was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragged to the other side. The crooked man was always right behind me. I realized he was there. Every time I was sad, I felt like he was whispering to me. I knew if I acknowledged it, I was done for, so I tried not to think about it. If all this hadn't happened, I think sooner or later, I'd take his same path. Thinking of it that way, he really did save me. Always such an easy target, aren't you? Oh, <clears throat> that's why you got dragged into this. It's fine. The crooked man is gone. Hello? Huh? Okay, I'll, I'll head right there. David, what's up? Who was it? The hospital. My mom's condition took a turn. They're going to have to do the operation. T take my bike. It'll be faster. You gotta go. Don't sit here staring. <clears throat> Doctor, doctor, M mom, 
Bump's condition. To be honest, this is rather risky. Removing the tumor isn't too difficult, but she might not have the strength to. Doctor, please, my mom. She's she's the only family I have. Please. <clears throat> Sign this. We're getting ready now. We'll do the best job we can. Okay. Doctor. Mom. Mom. The tumor was successfully removed. She's still sleeping now. We might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight will be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. David? Mom! Mom! Oh, thank God. You woke up. You really... I felt like I was in darkness. I was scared, screaming. I must have worried you. And those things I did to you. I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? It's okay. It's okay. You helped me open my eyes. Mom, I'm so unhappy. I was just struggling to be happy, but I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed after all the hardship I'd given her. I foolishly doubted, thought I wasn't loved, wasn't needed. That's why I... Do you hate me for it? Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both, it's hard to say we were always happy. But even in sad times, you were always honest. You lived a straight and honest life. I was so proud of you. Having you as my son was my greatest happiness. Aww. Don't focus on the sad things. And I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness hiding around you. Davy, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? Sure, just a second. She's gone. Flatline. Here you go, Mom. Mom? Mom? She got a good funeral. I'm sure your mother's happy now. You gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? <clears throat> she told me she was happy in the end. If I'm going to live without blaming myself, those words are gonna help a lot. I'm fine if I have to suffer. It's fine if I have to suffer. If I can be smiling in the end. David. Marion? Why are you? Shirley! Why are you? Hey, Shirley, I still ain't forgiving you. How dare you give David the cold? Ah, wow, 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 wow. Well. Ahem. <clears throat> We're going. Okay, okay, stop pinching me. <laughs> David, I heard about your mother. It's good you came, Shirley. Mom always liked you, so I bet she's glad. 
thanks. David, I was anxious. I'm unsure of where I'm going. I'm worried that the road I'm walking will be full of twists and turns. Maybe I did need your kindness. You never let me down, but how did I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. I'm sorry. Maybe this is too late, but... David? If it's okay with you, would you like to... Oh, they're getting back together. The David? I'm sorry. Please don't cry. No, I'm not sad. I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed and I just lost my only family, I'm just so happy you came back. Oh, It's okay, Shirley. However, off-kilter things get, we'll set them straight, I promise you. David. Aww. Too bad that never actually happens in real life. You know what I think? The crooked man had a crooked body and only crooked things. But I'm sure he was happy living in his crooked house. Duke. Make God him. Aww. I hope to see you again. Until then, rest in peace. Good end. Bye bye, Blackbird. Well, that was the ending, which I shouldn't have skipped. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the game, or at least watching me play it. <sighs> Yeah, this game, it's a little close to home, I hate to say it. But my advice to any of you, if you are suffering from anything, please talk to someone, seek help. I'll even leave numbers in the comment section if you do. Otherwise, I see you all in a... Oh, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in another video.